Apple's M4 MacBook Air is coming sooner than you think. Based on the most recent leaks and rumors, including a brand new benchmark leak that usually only happens just days before the release of a new Apple product. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a rundown of five updates you need to know to prepare yourself for the new M4 MacBook Air launch, as well as some updates on future MacBook leaks because you might actually wanna wait for the M5 models, so let's get started. Jumping right into number one, we have the leaked benchmark. This is actually from Geekbench 6, and this is a metal GPU benchmark that was leaked, 55,516 points, which is basically on par with the M4 iPad Pro, which is actually very, very powerful, especially for how thin it is, but it is just slightly lower than the M4 MacBook Pro, which scored up to 57. 7,000 points, that's basically within a margin of error, which is very good for this new M4 MacBook Air that's coming. We know that we're not getting that much limitation in terms of performance, so it's gonna do very, very well. The only issue is, this MacBook Air is fanless, just like it has been for years. So if you're doing extended workloads, so let's say you're doing some gaming or some extended graphics work, you might get some thermal throttling because of not having a fan, and it could basically bring that performance down. So you have to keep that in mind. Now, how does that leaked score compare to the competition? Well, if we look at some of the most recent Windows PC chips that are going into thin and light laptops, let's say we have the Lunar Lake, to 58V, this is actually gonna be faster based on the score we had in the M4 MacBook Pro, which scored 30.1 FPS, so we might get a little bit lower than that, but it's still gonna be faster than the Lunar Lake. It's still gonna be faster than the Best X Elite in terms of graphics, which only scored about 17.5 FPS in Steel Nomad Light. However, AMD is actually faster with their previous 890M graphics, and especially their new Ryzen AI Max Plus Pro, whatever it's called, that's gonna be even faster. So this is definitely really good for thin and light laptops like this, but AMD does have a lead ahead. Now in terms of the CPU, it should perform just as well as the M4 MacBook Pro in quick benchmarks like in Geekbench 6. However, when you get into tasks like Cinebench 2024, where it's extended for 10 minutes, you are gonna see a huge loss in performance because of this being fanless, so we are gonna be testing some actual coolers with this, so definitely subscribe if you wanna see some testing like that. Now getting into update number two, this one's quite interesting because it has to do with the inventory levels of the current M3 MacBook Air models. Those ones are starting to see the inventory dwindle down like a couple of weeks ago. Mark Gurman said that the inventories of products like the iPhone SE 3, the iPhone 14 models, the iPads, and the MacBook Airs are starting to dwindle down, which is usually a sign that a new product is launching. And guess what? Just last week, we got the launch of the new iPhone 16e, which has completely replaced the iPhone SE3 and the iPhone 14, so that was a good hint. And now, just this Sunday, Mark Gurman claimed again that the inventory levels are going down even further on the MacBook Air models, which means we could be literally just days away from an announcement from Apple of the new M4 MacBook Air. Now for update number three, let's try to pinpoint that release date because we've had leaks recently over the last couple months that the MacBook Air has already gone into mass production. We've also had many software leaks where beta softwares are showing the MacBook Air pop up with the M4 chip. And weeks ago, Mark Gurman said that it's coming within weeks, like when he said that it's 100% coming before the end of March. And just this past Sunday, he said that Apple's marketing, sales, and retail teams are right now preparing for a March debut, which means that we could actually get the announcement sooner rather than later in March. Let's say as soon as next week, 
Tuesday or Wednesday, we could be getting press release updates unless Apple actually wants to do some sort of mini event video where they package in the MacBook Air and some new iPads like the iPad Air that we're expecting, maybe the iPad 11, we could see that, or Apple could choose to just split everything apart within a couple of weeks. They might do that as well. Now, moving on to update number four, we gotta talk about exactly the feature set and design changes that you should expect because that really matters for your decision on if you wanna upgrade or not because this has stayed the same since the M2 MacBook Air. The M3 has exactly the same design and features. The M4 is also expected to say the same in terms of this design, but we are expecting some changes. For example, we're probably getting the 12 megapixel center stage camera because we got that on the rest of the M4 MacBooks, like the M4 MacBook Pro. That's probably coming to this as well. We're also expected to get Thunderbolt 4 ports, whereas these right now are only USB 4 with Thunderbolt 3 support. So we're actually getting legit Thunderbolt 4 ports. We're not getting Thunderbolt 5 because those are limited to the M4 Pro and above chips. So don't expect that. Maybe Maybe Apple does something here where they limit the color choices even further, which might help them with margins. But finally, getting into update number five, you might want to skip this M4 MacBook Air because we're already getting rumors of the M5 chip, which is rumored to be coming later this year and not in an iPad Pro, but apparently in a MacBook Pro. Pro, which would be the perfect replacement if you don't wanna buy this. Now the iPad Pro is usually on a 1.5 year timeline, which meant that we should have expected this fall to come a new iPad Pro, but no, it's getting delayed until the spring of 2026, and we're instead getting a MacBook Pro at the end of this year. So with that said, there really isn't that long to wait if you choose to skip the M4 MacBook Air and just wait for the M5 MacBook Pro, because apparently that chip is already in mass production as of February 5th, they're already making it and collecting them and prepping them for that new MacBook Pro. And the cool thing about this chip is that Apple's actually changing the design language of the actual manufacturing process itself. It's not gonna be two nanometer like we're hoping for, but the M5 Pro, Max and Ultra chips will utilize a new server grade SOIC packaging method, which is basically a new 2.5D packaging, which will improve the yields and apparently the thermal performance as well, which is very important for these MacBooks, featuring a new separated CPU and GPU design, which is quite interesting. I can't wait to see what that's gonna look like because that's gonna be the first fundamental change to how Apple does their chip designs between the CPU and GPU, so I'm quite excited to see that. So with that said, it might be worth waiting for. Now we also got some even further down the line leaks that you're probably curious about with the whole C1 modem that Apple released. Apparently they're already testing and working on the C2 modem, and they're also considering bringing that modem into the actual Apple Silicon chip itself in the future, which means that these MacBook chips will have modems built in, bringing 5G cellular to MacBooks for the first time. However, we might have to wait a while for that, maybe 2026, 2027, 2028. I'm not sure, but if you choose to buy the MacBook Air, you'll probably be fine for the next couple of years. I know a lot of you are waiting for the OLED displays, but apparently those are not coming on the MacBook Air specifically till 2029. And the OLED on these MacBook Airs is not gonna be anywhere near as good as the tandem OLED that's on the iPad Pro and that's coming to the MacBook Pros. So don't even worry about that for now. It's way out in the future. So you're clear to buy this MacBook Air when it comes over the next couple of weeks if you want to. So with that said, let me know what you're most excited about for the MacBook Air with the M4 chip down in the comment section below and subscribe above for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.